This commercial is part of Budweiser's new marketing campaign for what they are calling National Happy Hour. They have designated September 29th as the date to encourage everyone to grab a couple of buds and celebrate by using images that represent all things American. The commercial itself is a slow build up to an event with a montage of scenes of people preparing for something, a ball game, a concert, a cookout, bar patrons, even bud delivery men. The music becomes more intense as the scenes become more defined and Budweiser wants you to know that they are an important part of those times when people get together to celebrate and cheer. The last scene we see is with the military jets flying over a baseball stadium in St. Louis, which just happened to be named after the founder of Budweiser. In addition, the commercial includes a very clear message about women, with its short hypersexualized images of one woman in particular. We first see her undressing, then taking off her bra, putting pants on, applying lipstick, going out the door, and finally in the bar she steps into a man to kiss him passionately. Now of course there's nothing wrong with women kissing men, but it is important to ask why Budweiser shows a woman as purely a sexual being and not as anything else. One could argue that the spot is targeting men. But even if it appeals to women, it clearly says what their focus during happy hour should be is to be available to men. Budweiser certainly doesn't need to create a national happy hour day, since happy hour happens every day across the country. What the beer company is hoping to do with this ad campaign is to get you to associate good times and special moments with their product. For more information on techniques used by alcohol advertising, check out the documentary Spin the Bottle, Sex, Lies, and Alcohol produced by the Media Education Foundation.